Welcome back to the Niagara Learning Channel. I haven't finished the graphics completely on this site yet because we've got a Swigen AHU via Modbus and no one can uh, over Modbus over IP and no one can give me yet the IP address and I can't seem to find it when I'm doing some pinging of addresses on the router. So I'm waiting for that to come back and I still don't have ac access to the 963. Apparently it's offline, the computer. So that needs to get put online, but I'll show you what I've done at the moment. Um, but until I get access to the 963, I haven't got really an idea on some of these graphics. But from the points that I've got, I can have a rough idea. So first floor, I haven't got first floor plans. Sports hall, I haven't got any plans for that yet. Boiler plants, so I'll finish that. So we've got the two boilers, gas valve, primary pumps, pressurization unit, and they're going to the domestic hot water heat exchanger, the learner pool and the main pool. I've kept all these at the bottom yes there's some duplications because I've, I've actually put them up here as well but the engineers can delete them if they want to they're, they're, they're still there I'd rather have the information here that can be deleted than having to add information at a later date because they don't just want that they do want the rest of the um, descriptions showing with, along with the values Domestic hot water, so boiler plant room, so that's back to the boiler plant room, plate heat exchanger, temperatures for that, which are the wrong way round, well not on there, here are the wrong way round for me, 59 returning, 54 leaving, that doesn't make sense to me, but I'm going with what they're telling me, so the secondary common flow is saying it's 54.8 and the secondary return they're saying 59.4, but um, I think they're the opposite way around. Pool AHU. So we've got everything there on the pool AHU. All done. Outside fresh air, outside extract air. If these go into um, dirty, that will change colour and also the filter will look dirty. Um, that's about it for that. Oh, I'll tell you something I did find out. Their graphic that they gave me, that's AHU2. Now, this is a Swigen AHU, hence that's why I've only got that information there. So I need to get Modbus connected to that and pull in some points. So I can't do anything with that until I get the points in. But what I noticed, the dry change... Their graphic doesn't show a cooling um, exchanger, um, plate heat exchanger, uh, plate cooling exchanger. It doesn't show it. Yet we do have a, po a point for the loop output for the cooling. So I fitted that in. But the same for the wet change. So their graphic again doesn't show anything to do with cooling but I do have a cooling loop. Now I think, because we've got no chillers and it could be a DX unit, but uh, I think that that's obsolete, but I've still put it in there for now. Uh, sports all extract fans. I mean, we, we could do some extract fans, but I'd like to see what's on the 963 first. Cafe and toilet extract fans. And I've put the DI-13 there and DI-24, which is a driver. So we, it looks like we've got two toilet extract fans. It wasn't really shown in the points. If we go to, um, try to think which controller it was now. Extract fans. I don't think it was that controller. Let's go first floor. Toilet, here we go. So, toilet extract fan healthy there. And then we've got a toilet extract fan fault. 
but we did have another yeah toilet extract fan enable there cafe extract fan enable but it must be on another controller so it's got to be so that's toilet because when I put them all together I had there we go toilet extract fan enable so we've got one on controller so it could be ones for ground and ones for first floor but at the moment I don't know so until I look at the 963 um, reception there's nothing there just the just these points here but again I need the 963 squash courts again I need the 963 electric and water meat as well that's the best I can do because that's the only thing I've got which is a bit pointless having a page for something that's actually not even reading by the looks of it so I don't think we've uh, got pulses connected but that's not my problem not yet anyway and then of course at the bottom we've got, we've got our normal stuff there uh, the home page is there with the schedulers on this side or we can go directly to the schedulers page got an alarm there which yeah I, I've put the Modbus TCP network on but I don't know what IP address it is hence that's why it's an alarm because it's so uh, that's normal do I find out what the address is for that I think that's it that was a quick one just showing you the graphics yes it looks busy yes there's items that can actually come out of here because they're already put on the areas but I'll let somebody else delete them items rather than me at least they're there they're there and they're also on the AHU as well each one of these AHUs have got the the healthy if, if it goes into fault we have got here which is hidden at the moment we've got a graphic here that will pop up and it's the fault symbol this fault symbol here will pop up there if it's in fault and the same on everything um, any faults even though you don't see them like the boilers if they're in fault oh we have got one graphic that was in fault didn't we on the not that one there you go you've got one there showing you what it looks like when it's in fault and we've got them on the boiler plant as well here we cover this over with the fault I'll show you there that's our fault for the boiler plant I think that is it until I get some more data back I can't do anything else graphic wise so I can't finish this job yet but I thought I'd just run that by you and uh, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow now I might start on another site tomorrow I don't know okay thank you for watching